automatic. He was a 25-year-old gentle and sincere ordinary man. One day at a restaurant that wasn't too crowded. A beautiful woman told him. Can I share the table? He was surprised, but there was no reason to decline. Yes. He said. He wondered, but the conversation was fun. She had a tongue sensitive to hot food. She ate the food little by little from the surface. Her gesture was very cute. She said she was 23 years old. The two shared their phone numbers and promised to meet again. And after dating many times for several months, they got married. She and he were kind, never in a fight. Marriage was fun. They were happy. She did the housework well. He was good at cooking and did not get hurt with a kitchen knife. Or rather, he had never seen her injured and shed blood. She sometimes went out saying she was going to the hospital because she felt a little sick. She didn't come back for quite some time once she left home. She said it was just a headache. Seven years had passed. But she never got old. She was no different than when she was 23. He wanted a child. But she wasn't pregnant, so he offered to go to the hospital with him once. However, she stubbornly refused. One day he and she were hit by a car from the side while she was driving. He was fine, but she suffered a serious injury to her left arm. However, from her wide open wound, a metal bone appeared. That's right, she was an android. His surprise was extraordinary. She took off her coat and covered her left arm. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. She said in tears. She left him and walked alone to somewhere. He was so surprised that he couldn't chase her. It was widely known that androids were unconscious at the time. She was acting automatically. But he had never heard of such an elaborate android. He loved her deeply. But he has lived with an unconscious woman for seven years. He thought. Her eyes or cameras, image processed but unconscious she doesn't even know his face. He has fun memories, what about her? Her memory is just data on a memory chip. Is she unable to eat hot food to avoid overheating? She can't feel him at all. Not just at night. Did he happily live with a frigid woman? His sense of loss was terrible. He drank because the food didn't go through his throat. After a week of such a life, he was completely weakened. However, suddenly she came back. The left arm had been repaired. He was happy. In fact, he couldn't make up for the loss, but he liked her. She cried and apologized. He thought. These tears are just the water she drank coming out of her eyes. She is not sad. He understood it in his head, but when she cried, he became painful. He said, you're not bad. He wiped her tears. She cooked for him. As he was eating delicious food, his feelings gradually eased. Within a few days his strength recovered. And he was guided to the lab by her. There were several scientists in the lab. They apologized to him. Actually, this is an experiment we planned. We have done something really sorry for you. This is an apology, can you accept it? The scientist presented him with an envelope. But he refused. He didn't want to think he bought her for money. And he said, don't worry. I was happy. He was about to leave the lab. However, she said she would follow. Scientists wondered. Even though she is seen by everyone. I love you. Don't break up with me. She shed tears. I'm not a thing. Don't treat me as a thing. She shed tears that just overflowed. He and the scientists were surprised. Is this an automatic reaction? Isn't it? Scientists were supposed to analyze it. He took a break from work and decided to stay in the lab for a while. And the result of the analysis. It turns out that there is an area of pattern in her memory that has never existed before. 
an area that we should call love was created in her unconscious brain. He decided to continue living with her. Scientists were very interested in the continuation of this experiment. They accepted it. The two then went to the lab on a regular basis. And they lived happily with each other. He is old. But she remained 23 years old. He died at the age of 42. She returned to the lab and told the scientists. Please turn off my power. With an unconscious and automatic sad voice. She was placed in a metal box in a dark warehouse and never woke up from sleep.